Now, today's violence brings the number of shootings to at least a dozen in just the past seven days. Last night, we told you mayor, the mayor, state attorney, and sheriff are moving forward with plans to bring a program called Cure Violence to the city's most dangerous neighborhoods. News 4 Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michalucci has been researching this program for more than a month now. He's joining us live from Durkeeville with reaction from members of the community there. Vic? And Tom, those two men got shot just a couple hundred steps behind us. As you can imagine, that is very unsettling and concerning for the families who live here. A lot of kids, you've got an elementary school right here, you've got the high school just two blocks away from us. The mayor says he wants the violence to stop as well, and that's why he's trying to move several hundred thousand dollars from one account within the city budget to another one to make Cure Violence a reality here. I've seen this before. The crime tape, the canines, the helicopters, nothing new for Frank Brown. And I'm hoping something be done about all this crime. Today, bullets flew in his Durkeyville neighborhood, two men hit by the gunfire. It's sad to see my neighborhood, neighborhood go down like this, huh? Is it yeah. getting worse? Yes, it got worse. What's the problem? That I can't understand. People bored, don't have anything to do, no job. City leaders invested $7,500 this week for an assessment of the problems, a potential solution from a group called Cure Violence. We showed you how it worked last week when we visited their team on the streets of Philadelphia. The group held several meetings in Jacksonville over the past few days, winning the support of Jacksonville's sheriff, state attorney, and mayor. We won't know the exact cost of cure violence till they come back with a proposal sometime within the next 30 days. Mayor Curry tells us he is pushing for legislation to reallocate more than $750,000 of city money once reserved for Hannah Park. He wants to use it to start a cure violence program here and deal with the crime crisis. I saw your story in Philly, uh, so you know this works. And um, look, there's a lot of issues facing our city, facing any cities at any given moment. But we've got to stop the shootings. The cure violence approach is a hot topic in neighborhoods where the shootings are most common. Residents here tell us they are cautiously optimistic. They really operate it and, and do it right after year. It should work. And about a year ago, the city invested in shot spotter gunshot recognition technology. That actually worked here. That's what I'm told sent police officers to the scene just moments after the gunshots were fired here in Durkeeville. Now, I spoke with a manager with Cure Violence. He says that he is back in Chicago. They have 30 days to write a proposal to submit it to the city of Jacksonville. That proposal will include the target neighborhoods where they want to start the program and also the cost to get it up and running. Of course, we will keep you posted. Tonight, we're live in Durkeeville. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.